Welcome to Evening Prayers for Saturday the 6th of January. Today is traditionally known as Epiphany, the day when we celebrate God revealing God's self to the whole of the world through the birth of Jesus. In the Western Christian Church, today is normally celebrated with the story of the wise men that many of us hear during Christmas as part of the Christmas story. It's a story of God being recognised and worshipped by the whole world, and not just the people that he originally came to. The Eastern Christian Church celebrates this day with the story of Jesus being baptised in the River Jordan by John. It's towards the start of Mark's Gospel. As Jesus comes up from under the water, the Spirit of God descends and all see and, and hear the voice of God and recognise that Jesus is God now living amongst us. And across both churches, today is also the day where we celebrate with the story of Jesus' first miracle recorded in John's Gospel, the turning of water into wine at the wedding in Cana, the first recorded miracle according to John, of Jesus symbolising the transformation of the world, the revelation of God through our world changing. But today in our prayers, we follow the Western Christian church tradition and we pray with the story of the wise men. We're going to hear the story in a moment, but I wanted to give us some thoughts to ground our prayers before we do so. So here at the end of a week where we've received God's blessing for ourselves, we've celebrated God and then committed the year ahead to searching for the wisdom of God. Here we've got a story of people knowing there is more to life than the life they live. Reading about it and then seeing signs, in their case a star in the sky, which matches their understanding of God where they currently are. And so they make the journey keen to know more, to actually meet this God, King of the Jews, they call him. They ask for directions, they don't give up, they keep going, even when the journey takes them away from a capital city and a palace and a king they recognise in Herod and leads them to a tiny village. They still follow. And there they meet Jesus and give him the gifts they carry and they worship together. And now they've met God, they can hear and recognise God's voice speaking to them. And they heed the warning not to go back the way they've come, not to retrace their roots, but to go home by a different route. Carrying their story and their faith with them. May we be as keen to receive and as ready to listen to the wisdom of God as these wise men were. And so our reading, Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem saying, Where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For thus it is written by the prophet, and thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, Bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them 
till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Arise, people of God. Turn your faces towards the light. In the dawning of a new day, see the brilliance of God's holiness illuminating the world. Look around and see God's glory, and your faces will shine with God's radiant love. Lord God, we thank you that we do not need to be wise in the ways of the world to follow you. It's not always easy for us to lay aside our grand ideas. But we thank you for the promise of the new life that comes when we follow you. As the kings brought gifts to you, so Lord, we thank you for all you give to us, especially for the gift of wisdom. We thank you for the wise people we've known who've guided us along your way. And help us, in turn, to be ready to receive from you so that we can share ourselves with others. Amen. Our next prayer is the hymn or carol, as with gladness men of old did the guiding star behold.
prayer of confession. If we say we've done nothing wrong, we're only fooling ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Christ transform us. For the words we've said that should never have been spoken, Lord, have mercy, Christ, transform us. For the thoughts in our minds that we didn't want you to hear, Lord, have mercy, Christ, transform us. For the things we didn't do when we could have helped, for the things we have done that we now regret, Lord, have mercy, Christ, transform us, focus us onto your wisdom, not the wisdom of the world. The love of the Lord is limitless as far as the east is from the west. So far has God removed our sins from us. The eye of the Lord is on his people. God sees us clothed in Jesus' bright, shining righteousness and will not remember our wrongdoing. The love of the Lord is pure. When we confess our sin, we are forgiven and cleansed. Let the holy people of God say, Christ transform us. Alleluia. Amen. And a prayer of response. Through your mysterious inspiration, Lord, you led the wise men on their journey to discover the newborn saviour of all. Following the light of a star, they travelled, Lord, from darkness into light. So guide us this day from the darkness of our confused and fractious world into your wonderful light. In the light of your presence, help us to experience your kindness and blessing. Make us strong in faith, in hope and in love. Lord, we worship and adore you the God whose light brightens our lives. Christ Jesus, who appears each day as a light shining in darkness, who has made us your followers, as we worship you this day, may you make us lights to all around us. Lord, we worship and adore you, the God whose light brightens our lives. In following the light of the star, the wise men found the Lord of life. As we said ourselves to follow faithfully the way of Lord, may we too, at the end of our earthly pilgrimage, find the Lord of life welcoming us into the glory of his heavenly home. Lord, we worship and adore you, the God whose light brightens our lives. Amen. So in that light, Lord, we pray for our world with all its troubles. We pray for people displaced from their homes through war or natural disasters, for those who struggle to survive and no longer know where they belong or where they're going. We pray that they might come to know your story for them. We pray for our community, the people around us, those we know well and those we know a little or not at all. We pray that all might come to know your story for them. We pray for those who suffer turmoil of mind or spirit, who are in physical or mental pain. We pray that they will be strengthened to withstand all that life throws at them, that they might be open to receive your healing. We pray that they might come to know your story for them. And we pray for those who are coming to the end of their journey on earth, for those who walk alongside them and not only share their pain and suffering, but have their own sense of emptiness and loss. We pray that they might come to know your story for them. We pray that we might recognise your presence as we journey through the life you have given us. Amen. And our sending out prayer. Christ, our morning star that never sets, help us to follow you. Amen.